Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to solve the end problem uh, from the chapter number 5.9 of Digital Logic Design and in which you there is a sequential circuit which consists of the two JK flip flops. So basically this is the problem number 5.9. The flip flops are A and B. Both are of JK type. Alright, and here is one input which is X. Alright, the circuit is described by the following input flip flop equations, which means the JA input of the A flip flop is equal to X, while K of A is equal to B, and the input equations for the second flip flop which is JB is equal to X while K of B is equal to A complement. The first part is you have to drive the state equations A of T plus 1 and B of T plus 1 by substituting the input equations for the JK variables and in the second part you have to draw the state diagram for the particular circuitry all right so the first step is to draw the circuit by using the given information so there will be two flip flops that are jk flip flops let's name them a and b So this is basically J of A and here you will have K of A. Similarly, here you will have J of B and K of B. These are the two inputs of JK type. While here you will get A and A complement type outputs from the A flip flop. And similarly, the second JK flip-flop will be producing B and B prime or B complement. Alright, so by using the given input equations, we can see that the input of the first flip-flop J is equal to X. So here is an input X variable and this is fed into the first flip-flop fine. Then the B in uh, K A input is connected from the output of the second flip flop. So you will have a path from the output to the input. Similarly, uh, you can see that the J B is also equal to X. So what we need to do, we will connect this X input at the J input of this flip flop. And then you can see the second input which is K of B. It's equal to the complement of A. So the complement of A is present over here and I will just make a connection from here. So in this way you have drawn the sequential circuit diagram by using the given information. Alright, the next step is to determine the equations A of T plus 1 and B of T plus 1 which are basically the next states of the JK flip-flop. We generally know that the out output equation for the JK flip-flop is generally written as J of Q complement plus K complement of Q. Fine. And using the same concept I will do the same procedure over here. So what is meant by J and K? J and K are the inputs of the flip-flops while Q and Q complements are the outputs. In case of the JK flip-flop or the first flip-flop which has been marked as A, the input equations, sorry, the output equations can be translated like that J of A complement plus K complement into A. The next step is to substitute the value of J of K and K complement of A. So here we are actually driving the value of A of T plus 1. 
j of a is equal to x which is the given information so it becomes x of a prime plus what is k complement of a so k complement of a is actually equal to b complement of a and hence you can see it's actually a complement x plus a b complement so this is the first expression of a of t plus 1 using the same steps we can find the value of b of t plus 1 and in case of the b type of flip flop we can write it as j of b then b prime plus k of b and prime of b fine so let's substitute the values of j of b j of b is equal to x so we will have x b complement plus while k of b is simply equal to a of complement and when we'll take the complement of it you will simply get a and then you will have b here so it becomes x b complement plus a b while the first equation is a complement x plus a b complement so this is the first step you, that you have solved then in the uh, next stage you have to determine the state diagram and for finding the state diagram you need to construct the state table the state table of the sequential circuit which consists of the jk flip flop actually has four types of the information uh, the first information since he, uh, here you were having two jk type flip flops so that's why here will be two columns of the present states if i do represent the present state by a and b this is the input these a and b will actually represent a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 and you can also name them as the next state while these last four columns are basically representing the flip-flop input equations and now we will fill this table according to the given information first of all you can see that the present state and the input are actually forming the 4-bit combination so that's why let's just fill the values for this it will be 0 0 0 0 0 1 then 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and the last you will have triple 1 all right and in the next step you will find the flip-flops input equations that you can actually determine from the information you were provided initially and it's right over here j of a is equal to x so what is whatever the value of x is over here you will put it in place of j of a so in the column of the j of a we will just replicate the values of x okay and similarly for the k of b is k of a is equal to b this is the b and you can see two consecutive zeros and then two consecutive ones so in this way you will fill then j of b is also equal to x so that's why you will substitute the values of 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 over here and in the last k of b is actually equal to the complement of a so here is a and you will just take the complement of it and fill this value since four entries are zeros so you will replace them by one 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 and then the remaining four entries will be zero hence you have filled the state table for the sequential circuit which is consisting of the flip-flops now for determining the next steps you have two ways the first procedure is you have the equations already determined from the given information or from the given input flip flop equations so you can determine a of t plus 1 by substituting these values and b of t plus 1 which are basically the next states so these two columns can be filled using that information and other approach is to use the jk flip flop table so you know that 
J and K are either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Alright, so when both J and K inputs are 0, output remains same or it doesn't change. Whatever the previous value or the previous state of the flip-flop will be, it will retain. When J is 0 and K is 1, it is the reset state, so output, output will become 0. When J is equal to 1 and K is equal to 0, then it will be in the set state. And when both inputs are equal to 1, then it will be in the complement state. So you can either use this information or either you can use the equations that you determined previously for writing or filling up this column. Fine, I will preferably use the behavioral information for determining the values of the next state and then I can verify them from the given expression or for the, from the expression that we determined. And what is uh, the way, the method is uh, very easy. Uh, first of all, I will fill the next state for the flip-flop A type. Alright, and these are the inputs for the first flip-flop which is A flip-flop. Okay, so when both inputs are 0 and the flip-flop previously is in the 0 state, it will retain its value. It will remain in that state. So A of T will be, A of T plus 1 will also be 0. Okay. When j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0, then the output of the flip-flop will be set. When j is 0 and k is 1, it will be in the reset state. When both inputs are equal to 1, the flip-flop will take the complement of its present state. So right now it was in 0 state, its next state will be 1. Now, when both inputs are 0, the flip-flop should retain its previous state, which is 1 in this case. This is basically Q A of T, which is the present state. Okay. Now, when J is 1 and K is 0, it is in the set state, so output will be set. When 0, 1, output will be reset. When both inputs are 1, 1 again, then you have to go to the present state and in the present state what we will do we will take the complement so it becomes 0 in this way you will fill this column now while filling the value for the second column b of t plus 1 we will look at the inputs of the second flip flow which is j of b and k of b and now b of t will be under consideration or it will be treated as the present state so when j is 0 and k is 1 it will be in the reset state when both inputs are equal to 1 we have to take the complement of its present state so it's 0 the complement will be represented by 1 when j is 0 k is 1 the flip flow will be in the reset state so that's why output will be 0. When both are equal to 1, you have to take the complement of its present state which becomes 0. Now, when both inputs are 0, what you have to do? You have to retain the present state which is 0 at this moment. When j is 1, k is 0, you will set the flip-flop. When both inputs are 0, you have to retain the present state which is 1 in this case. When j is 1, k is 0, the output will be set. So in this way basically you will fill up or determine the next state of the flip-flop. Alright, now once you are having the state table, you can simply or easily draw the state diagram from it. And let's do it quickly. Since two flip-flops are involved in it, that's why there will be po four possible states. Both flip-flops can produce either 0, 0 or 0, 1 or 1, 0 and 1, 1. These are the four possible output states in case of this flip-flop. Alright. Now let's use this information that you can see over here. 
these are the present states okay and these are the next states corresponding to the different values of the input so initially flip flop is in the 0 0 state and when input is 0 it will go to the 0 0 next state okay so it will loop back to itself for the input value of 0 now when flip flop is at 0 0 state for the input value of 1, it will go into the 1, 1 say, state. So when it is in the 0, 0 state, it will go into the next state which is 1, 1 for the input value of 1. Fine. When flip flop is in the 0, 1 state, next is the 0, 1 state. And it will go into the 0, 0 state from 0, 1 it will go to the 0, 0 state for the input value of 0. When flip flop is in the 0, 1 state it will go into the 1, 0 state for the input value of 1. When flip flop is in the 1, 0 state it will go into the 1, 0 state for the input value of 0. Similarly, when flip-flop is in 1-0 state, it will go into the 1-1 one, one state for the input value of 1. Now, when flip-flop is in 1-1 one, one state, it will go into the 0-1 state. So, from 1-1 one, one to 0-1 one state for the input value of 0. Then, when flip-flop is in 1-1 one, one state, it will go again into the 0-1 state. For the input values of 1 or you can write it 0 comma 1 because preferably the notation of the backslash is used for the input and output relation so we will write it as for the 0 and 1 both input state it will go into the 0 1 state thank you for watching